A lot of new details coming out of court. A judge found enough evidence for a slew of charges, including assault, kidnapping and attempted murder, all for an attack on Leticia's son. Prosecutors holding off on probable cause for murder as police are still investigating Leticia's disappearance. So the court finds probable cause for all the charges except for the arson too. 46 year old Brett Gitchell was last seen with Leticia at a Mariners game Friday, March 31st. While Gitchell has not been charged, King Five has decided to name him and show his picture since investigators are still trying to find Martinez. According to new probable cause documents, Leticia's family said that text messages from her phone the morning after the game were odd and uncharacteristic. Police say the author of the messages can't be verified. Family and friends report her phone, then went straight to voicemail. So for her to be out of communication with all those folks, something, there's foul play. That's what immediately came to my mind. Court documents also reveal Gitchell reportedly kidnapped and strangled Leticia's adult son after luring him out of their home early Sunday morning, saying Leticia was in the hospital. That certainly adds a whole new element to what has happened. Her son was able to fight him off while calling his father and 911 for help. It just makes me think whoever did this is is just an awful, awful human being. Three days later, Gitchell taken into custody at a Costco under suspicion of stealing from other stores. Police say at the time of the arrest, he was wearing a Seattle Mariners wristband and denied going to a game this year. And he actually claimed not to not recognize her until he was shown a photograph of her, which at that time he then admitted that he was at the baseball game with her. Gitchell then reportedly told police Leticia left the game with another man she ran into. Reports show Gitchell had numerous cuts and bruises. Police took his clothing for evidence and while doing so, saw what appeared to be blood on the inside of his shoe. Terrible thoughts came to my mind, which I'd rather not utter. Um, you know, we're all still trying to hope for the best. And prosecutors say Gitchell's cell phone data showed that he went to a remote mountain area the day after Leticia's disappearance. Gitchell said to have a bail hearing tomorrow, but tonight Leticia is still missing and the Seattle Police Department is asking anyone with information to call its violent crimes tip line.